Hello, welcome to MoFa News, your most reliable source of Korean public diplomacy news. I'm Jeon Young-ho from MoFa. To mark the 30th anniversary of the Republic of Korea's admission to the United Nations, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs held a Korea UN 30th Anniversary International Forum in Seoul on June 17th. The forum took place as a hybrid event and was broadcast live online. Minister of Foreign Affairs Jung Woo Yong highlighted in his opening speech, the history of relations between Korea and the UN is an exemplary model for demonstrating the UN's value for pursuing peace, freedom, and prosperity worldwide. He also emphasized that Korea would continue to cooperate with the international community for the peace to firmly take root not only on the Korean Peninsula, but also in the everyday lives of all people around the world. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres congratulated the 30th anniversary and noted Korea's leadership role on issues of global importance from peace building to green growth. He also expressed the hope that the 30th anniversary will be the occasion for the two Koreas to build bridges, reaffirm the values of peace and reconciliation, and establish enduring cooperation. UN General Assembly President Falcon Vasker recalled his father, who was a Korean War veteran, and the long relationship between the UN and Korea that dates back to Korean War period. He said, Korea has become a vibrant democracy with a thriving economy and a significant contributor to the United Nations through peacekeeping operations, sustainable development, and the promotion of human rights. Former UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon listed Korea's achievements in the UN over the past 30 years and said, in the years ahead, Korea should make specific and concrete contributions to the United Nations in a manner commensurate with our national capability. In the following three sessions, scholars not only from Seoul but also from New York and Paris participated virtually. They had in-depth discussions on the achievements and limitations of the UN-led multilateral endeavors and the current challenges in the field of international peace. Also, six former Korean ambassadors to the UN shared their experiences of dealing with major international issues and offered their wisdom on the direction for Korea's UN diplomacy in the future. Lastly, Deputy Minister for Multilateral and Global Affairs Ham Sang-uk said in his closing remarks that the forum provided useful directions on opening up another 30 years of history of Korea with the UN and as a leading nation in the international community, Korea is determined to usher in a new era where we play even more active roles and make greater contributions. Throughout the year, MOFA will hold various events commemorating the 30th anniversary of the Korea's admission to the United Nations. And this is MOFA News.